everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching my tutorial today. This tutorial kickstarts um, the beginning of my Creative Card Series 2018. So for those of you that have been following me um, for over a year now, you would have remembered my Creative Card Series 2017. Um, it was done quite early on, um, I hadn't had it long at that point, and it was a huge success. And um, two of the videos that week um, have proven to be my most popular tutorials ever. So I thought I would kickstart this week with an updated version of the pop-up card that I done which I still get so many messages about and people really enjoy it. So every card that I'm going to share every other day for the next two weeks will be a fancy fold card, fun fold card, something with a bit of oomph, something that's not just a standard open and close card although that's what this one looks like. And I guess kind of is, but wait till you see inside. So I've done this beautiful belly band and the front of the card is actually completely plain because you, the idea is that you keep it open. So this is the outside, which is just gorgeous. Really enjoyed doing these. And you just slide off the belly band and then inside it opens up and you have this gorgeous pop-up card. So this is a, an updated and more simplified version of the one I done last year, but still, that's the profile that you would look at when you're looking at it sideways on, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then looking over here, you can see the side view there. And it's just so much fun to make, and it's, you know, it's just lovely. You can do this for an anniversary, a really special birthday, and, and that's another thing. All these cards, they are, they're time consuming, so that it's a labour of love. So it's something that you want to sit down and think, right, today I'm going to make that really special card for, you know, somebody, and this is what I'm going to do. So that's what these cards are and like I said I've thoroughly enjoyed doing this one so this is a happy birthday with the um, heat embossed sentiment there I've got my favourite little butterfly which I'm also wearing as my ring today and it's just beautiful that's the easiest way to describe this and then the belly band I thought can sit nicely next to it as well and it can just be you know all enjoyed now one little change I am going to make to this is as beautiful as it is I want to shrink this in a little bit closer so this this one and this one they're not going to be as long I think they could do with just going in a little bit towards the back these two down here I'm going to keep that length but these two I'm going to just shrink in a little bit so you'll have a bigger surface area here to decorate which I'll show you and we can do but that's what we're going to do today and then it all closes nice and flat it's a little bit thicker so if you're posting it you probably will have to pay um, a little bit more for postage but um, you know it shouldn't be too much you can see there on the side okay so that's what we're going to do so I'm just going to pop that one over there so the one I'm going to show you because I like to make them a bit different is all the same in terms of the flowers and everything but I'm going to do it with a yellow kind of like a yellowy mustard um, background for this one now I prepared everything because I've done endless tutorials on how to make flowers and heat embossing and all that kind of stuff the main part of this is I want to show you the construction and how to get those cuts um, so I've already prepared all my decoration which I will talk through when we get to that bit had fun doing all my flowers I've already die cut my butterfly and pop all these to one side that's my start on my belly band so it's, it's, it's a it, <laughs> get my words out there it's a smaller sentiment in regards to the area because we're going to be covering this with all those flowers so you can see how full it does become so that's a smaller sentiment and then I've got four um, layers here from my nest of rectangle dies whereas on that one there was two but because I'm gonna have a bigger area I've done more so that's that one belly band and then the card now I'm doing this as a five by seven because it's such a big area um, I thought it looked a bit too squashed um, in like an A2 smaller size however you still can do that so um, you can easily shrink this down so I've got here a five by seven card base okay and I've just cut this from a piece of card stock that was ten by seven and then along the ten inch side I've scored it at five and that will give you your five by seven base then the piece that's going inside is shorter so I want a quarter of an inch border so this is nine and a half by six and a half okay now with this piece here along the nine and a half inch side you want to score at um, what is it four and a half so four and three quarters okay is half of nine and a half so I'm just going to score at four and three quarters all the way down and then we can fold that one in half okay so now you can see if I sit that one inside here and just open it up you'll get that nice border okay 
So that's all of the scoring for the scoreboard. Um, I'm going to use a different stylus because we will need that in a moment. So let's just remove that one. We don't need that now for a while, so we'll get rid of that. So we've got our card base here. I'm just going to burnish that score line there so it's nice and flat. Now everything we do from now on is going to be along this um, burnished line. Don't work from this side here, okay? Not the open end, you want to work at the closed end. Lie it down. Now if you've got a grid, which I have here, now this grid works in half um, inch increments on this side and on the other side it's in centimetres, but I like to work in inches. Um, I will list the centimetres on my blog because I do get a lot of people asking and I've tried to remember to do my tutorials with centimetres as well, but when you're just so used to working in, in, in inches, it's really hard. So I will put in, I will put centimetres in my blog, okay? And there will be templates for inches and centimetres as well on my blog, so you can revert to those as well. Okay, so I've got it within my um, grid here with my ruler. What you want to do, find my pencil. Um, is that one a nice sharp one? Let's see if I've got a sharp one. No, I think that's gonna have to do, okay. So if I line my ruler up with this all in the grid here and my ruler along, I can see it's six and a half, which is right, which is what we've done. What you want to do is just start from the outside and just put a little pencil mark at half an inch. So just put half an inch there and then here at half an inch. So that's gonna be at half an inch and at six inches, just a little pencil mark, okay? Then come in again at one and do a pencil mark and then at five and a half. Now, with that one that we've just done, just put a little cross in the two like that. I'm gonna lift this up a bit closer in a moment, or maybe if I just see if I can come down. There we go, you can see much better there. Okay, so there's that half inch, and then that one, and just put a little cross. And then I've come in here at six, and then at five and a half, and again, put a little cross. Then do a pencil mark at five, okay? And do one at one and a half. Then do one at two, and do one at four and a half, and again, put a little cross. Okay, so you can see now I'm doing every other half inch, I'm putting a cross. So again, two and a half, and four, and then three, and three and a half. And then between the two and a half and the three, I'm doing a cross, and between the three and a half and a four, I'm doing a cross. Okay, so every other half inch, you will have a little cross, like so. And this is just to help us um, know which ones we're cutting because when we go to cut this we're going to cut everyone with cross and it doesn't matter about all these pencil marks because this is all going to be inside and hidden you won't see any of this okay so you can really write and do whatever you want on here to make it easier for you um, you don't need to worry about any of this being on show so now I'm going to twist the card round to any any side all right any of these sides it doesn't matter so I'm going to work with this one here and basically what you want to do is do a pencil mark at three quarters of an inch, okay? And then again at the other end, do a pencil mark at three quarters of an inch. And then just join those two up. Obviously if you've got a T ruler, then you won't have to do both ends. But I still haven't got around to buying one after I said I would. There we go, okay? So I've just got that. I'm gonna come back out a little bit at oh, Come out a little bit now so you can see everything. There we go. Now. I don't want to do those other two as long as I did. So basically what I did next, you might want to do them that far out, okay? If you do, then you do another three quarters of an inch, you then do a one and a half, and then you would do two and a quarter, okay? And that will give you the same that I've got, but I don't want them to be as, you know, um, long as they were. So now I'm gonna do my next one at one and a quarter, and again, at the top here, one and a quarter. And again, join those two lines up. And then I'm gonna work up again another half inch. So now I'm gonna do one and three quarters. Like so. And just join them up. Okay. So that's now what you should have. You have these three lines here. So now what we need to do is the two outer ones, so the two outside crosses here, you basically want to just 
I'm using my grid just to make sure I'm lining my ruler up straight but you want to do a pencil mark right up to the top line so these parallel lines here you want to go right up to the top then the next one oh and we said that one here as well didn't we do the same okay then the next crossed section we're going to do to that second line Again, making sure you want to make sure these are all straight because you're going to cut these so you don't want to be wonky and that one okay so I'm coming down there and then again this bit here this is the most tricky part all the rest of the decoration and it's really fun and then the two in the middle you're going to do just to that first pencil line like so I'll just bring that up so that is what you want so up the side here we've got three quarter of an inch from here from the bottom to the top from here <laughs> three quarters of an inch and then half an inch and half an inch and then these are all half inch increments all these sections here okay so now we can do a little bit of cutting so you don't need to worry about doing anything on the other side you only have to do it on one side of this card now what we're going to do is cut up these pencil lines for every crossed area so I'm going to cut all the way up to that one there and then that one there now this cardstock I'm using is 300 GSM so you know you do want a good cardstock um, so just bear that in mind if it's too flimsy and you're sticking flowers on these bits would not stay rigid like mine are okay so yeah just for that make sure you do use a, a strong card so and then the very last ones so you're just cutting up to wherever the pencil was going to so now you'll have this kind of effect here swooping down okay then pop it back on its side and grab I'm using this thinner um, I use these ones really for when I'm making flowers but I'm using this very thin um, stylus end here and just with um, my ruler what you want to do now is at the top of where you've got each crossed area so here's the top of this one then the top of this one you want to score along so for example here I'm just scoring that one then the next crossed area and then the next one and this will just help you um, when you go to fold them like so so all I've done there is I've just scored along the top of that one that one that one, that one, that one, and that one, every crossed area. And then flip it over, and although we haven't got the pencil lines here, you can see where you've cut up to. So you just want to score and join the cuts, okay? Again, don't worry on this other side too much. It's not gonna make, it's not gonna make your card work any less, but it just gives you a nice, sharp, um, fold line that's all when you go to uh, pop them all out in a moment so you can see now there so I've just scored just joining so they all look like little you know it looks like a skyline almost okay so like I said don't worry about all the pencil marks they can stay there because you're not going to see any of it so now open up the card and you will have something like that you want to now pop through each one so that one's going to come through then the next one so it's every other and just push them through don't worry if the other ones pop out as well because you can just push them back again like so so I can see now and then as I fold it up it creates this really cool effect and I just absolutely love it now already I can see I'm much much happier with them being slightly shorter and completely turn it over so you're lying it flat so now you can see that pattern that we get. Now if you wanted to do a card, 
portrait so that when people open the card they just reveal this awesome pattern. You can do that as well. And you could do maybe one long, one short, one long, one short and so on and so forth. I'm just going to pan back out again. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> there we go. So you can see the really, really cool effects you get um, just by doing some simple cut lines. So now, this is why I said don't worry about the pencil marks because that is going to go inside and once you put it against a really cool colour you really get to see all those fun cut lines, okay? Now, I'm gonna stick this onto here next, but if you want to stamp directly or heat emboss directly onto this, now's the time to do it, because once we, because then if it warps slightly, once you stick it onto this flat surface here, it will straighten it back out. But if you do it and then lie it all flat and heat emboss on this, your whole card will just end up being a bit, you know, warped, which isn't great. So fold that one over. Okay, and then I've just got my tear tape here. And I'm first of all going to cover most of the area with this and then any little gaps I'm going to cover with wet glue. So although my wet glue is paper friendly, I don't want to put it all over the back of this. Um, so I'm doing a bit of both. So I'm just going to cover both sides of this. Okay, so I've just covered both sides with my double sided tape and then I'm going to remove all of that backing and then add my wet glue. Just, it's easier to do it that way than add the wet glue now and then you end up getting in a mess trying to take off your backing afterwards. So I'm just going to remove all of this. Okay, so I've done that one side, just remove the backing. You don't want to remove the backing from both sides, obviously it'll stick on your, um, your mat or whatever, but you can see there. And then I'm just going to grab some of my wet glue here and just go and pop glue in all of these and just where there's any kind of card still exposed okay and then what we can do is with the side where we haven't taken off our adhesive yet you can just slide that easily on here go right up to your score line bring it right up make sure you've got equal borders on each of the sides here in the front and once you're happy it's all in place you can slide that other piece on top like so and you can see now it's all nicely stuck down and then we can do the same now on this side so I'm going to take all the backing off and again add my wet glue okay so I've just taken the backing off and just applied some wet glue amongst that and then this one here you can just fold that over the top like so and that is your pop-up card. So now, when that person opens it, so like I said, you could have it that way if you want. But we're going to have this with the flowers, so we're going to start to decorate it now. But again, I like now that they don't come out too far. And we've got this nice big area now, which is why I've done those extra die cuts. They fit in there perfectly. And they're going to be all nicely nested on top of each other with that one like so. So that's going to be at the bottom. And then I've got my butterfly and everything going on at the top. So I'm going to stick that down last. I want to concentrate on the flowers and do the belly band very um, at the very end as well because um, I just wrap my belly bands. I don't score them at particular points because you never know how bulky this is going to be and everybody's is going to be slightly different. You'll be having, you'll be used different flowers to me and so on. So now I'm just going to talk you through how I kind of put it together and just a few little tips to make sure that it always folds nicely. So I'm just going to open this one up because I'm following the same pattern because I do really like the way that that one has, has all kind of worked together. So for example this one here when you go to stick it at the top here you want it to be as close to it as possible but you because my flowers are quite dimensional they're actually quite flat when they're stuck down because I end up sticking glue on all of the backs um, and it needs to be completely flat because when this piece folds if I hold that there so say that's where I stick it well it is going to be where I stick it when this folds back on itself this piece here you don't want it to catch on that flower so don't stick it right on top of it. You don't want it touching. It's a, literally a couple of millimetres away from it so that it just gives that room for that piece to be able to fold closed, okay? So just when you're going around sticking all these, make sure they don't touch. They're just sitting just above them. And, um, and that's the same for when we go to decorate on the fronts here. So when I go to stick this one here, I'm not sticking it right down like that. I'm lifting it up just a little bit and again it will just allow 
that to fold flat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now. Oh, I've got a little mark there. Well, fortunately, it's going to be covered. Um, I'm going to go and do all of this beautiful piece on the back first, and then I can show you it closing, and then I'll go through the front. Okay, so I've done all of the top half there, and I've stuck the butterfly down. I just bring it up there, you can see. I need to add a little, um, I forgot, I need to add a little um, embellishment in the middle of that one, but you can see how I've done them there. I've layered them over the top, and none of it is touching the tops of all of these little bits here. So now when that folds flat, you can see it all goes down nicely and it doesn't catch on anything. So each time you go to stick something down, use your wet glue and just come to fold it up a bit and just check that it does fold nicely. You don't want these to bend any of these here. Okay, so now I'm going to decorate all of the, the fronts here. So you can you can come up as high as you want. So like I've come, you know, I've lifted lifted these up past this piece here but again remember to not go completely flush with the card there so for this one here I'm just going to pop some of my glue on the back there and this one's going to be sticking here but make sure my flower's flat and you can see that it is not stuck there's a little gap a couple of millimeters there and that's what you want to keep it free just so that then when that goes to fold flat you can see now it folds nicely okay without catching so still not stuck probably let me just keep that in place okay so I'm going to go along now and decorate all the fronts of these and then I'll be back okay so there is the bottom done so I'm just showing you as it would be seen to the person that you give it to and then you can see looking down there and um, I just think it looks really really pretty I'm so pleased with this and I hope you guys like it as well um okay so now I'm going to add my sentiment and do a little bit of decoration on there as well and then I can finish off with the belly band. So I'm going to add some, um, just some foam squares onto all of these just so they're raised up. Again if you want to keep it flat depending on how um, thick you know yours might already be. Um, my flowers are just a, a very old die that I've got that I just die cut and the leaves are from a stamping up stash. Again I'll put any links that I can find I'll put in my blog. Um, but this is an easy one to do, you don't need any, any expensive bits and pieces, just need good card I would say is the, is the main bit because you want this to stay nice and straight. And you can see how it sits up perfectly on its own. Um, if you've got thin card, <coughs> excuse me, the weight and um, of what we're doing here, it would just end up falling over, it wouldn't hold itself up. So I'm going to stick that one just on here and just layer up these other two. Okay, so I've just stacked them all on top of each other, pop some glue on the bottom one and then I'm just going to make sure it's centred with these two um, here and then you've got a nice straight line and the same you want the same gap here as you've got on all of them so that it looks all nice and finished like so so now if I lift that up you can see all the dimension to that as well and again it all still folds keep pra keep practicing keep always folding it up okay you can see there so I'm gonna put some flowers on here although I'm probably not going to do as much as I've done um, on that one because that one's a bit flatter and I done them to fill the gap but that's already quite filled so I don't need to do as much so what I'm going to move on to now is the belly band so I've got this piece here and as I said you know make sure you're happy and you're finished with what you've got going on here and then when you close it all up get your belly band so this is just the width of a four which is 11 and 5 eighths of an inch um, 11 inches would be fine and obviously 12 as well sit the card over the top like so and then just bring this around and you want to do it loosely okay so don't you know you want that when it's folded over just practice just sliding it and that I can see comes off probably because you don't want to squash that I haven't squashed it I've literally just folded it over and I'm holding this quite lightly you don't want to crush it all um, and then there's the belly band so I am just going to put a little pencil mark where it over, overhangs there and then I know I can add my glue within that area there like so and then just 
fold that one over so it's back up to that pencil line okay and then I can slide that off and just make sure that's all stuck down nicely and then I can work with this now so that these are my circles you might want to use rectangles squares do something completely different but my largest one is four inches and then the second one is three and a half and then I've got just over three for the top one there and I've just heat embossed a little sentiment on top and that is going to sit over like so so again I'm just going to pop a little pencil marks just so I know how far up to do the glue I can rub that out in a moment and now I can just cover that area in glue again sit that over the top okay so that's now all ready to decorate so again I want to copy what I've done on this one here so I've already got a big orange one there I've got a big yellow one up here and then I've got it slightly different I haven't got as many left as I thought so it's going to be that and that and then I'm going to have two oranges at the bottom there that still looks pretty and then I've got all these green leaves to nestle in and just build that up as well so I'm just going to get that one decorated okay so that is my belly band all decorated again I think it looks so pretty I'm really pleased with that one so I'll pop this one back on there that's pretty much it um people will ask where will you put your message with this one here I'm going to put um, my message on the back so I'm going to stick a white piece of card or paper there and write my to and from alternatively you may want to put your sentiment at the top here and write your message at the bottom um, it's entirely up to you. Like I said, these do fit in an envelope, so you may not want to do the belly band and just pop it straight into an envelope like it is, like so. Um, but yeah, there we go. It folds flat, and then this one will just slide in perfectly, like so. So there are my two more simplified pop-up cards um, to the ones last year. Um, I'll share the links to those, I'll share any links to the flowers that I've made, past tutorials, anything like that to help you out. Um, but I hope you like this tutorial, I've really enjoyed these, I think they're super pretty and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to giving these out to people. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the first tutorial of my Creative Card Series 2018. As always, please share your pictures over on my Facebook page. Um, I will be super excited to see what you make with these cards this week um, or over the next two weeks. And um, yeah, until next time, thumbs up. And um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Bye.